morning. We're getting sciency in the studio. Dr. Graham Wiley is a chemistry professor at Concordia, and she, he has brought one of his students, Lauren Hinkley, along to show us some experiments that you might be able to try at home. Welcome to you both. All right, thanks Thank for having you. us back. Yes. So uh, what we're going to do, Lauren's going to come along with us. What we're going to do is we're going to do an exciting science experiment, and it's going to involve something that we might have lying around. Okay. So I don't know if you remember, Sunday was a very special day. Do we remember what Sunday was? It was Halloween. <laughs> it was Halloween, and so what have we got probably left over from Halloween? Candy. So candy, <laughs> one of the great things about candy is it contains one of my favorite chemicals around, which is food dyes. They just make everything that much more That's colorful. So, true. so what we're going to do is we're going to do an awesome science experiment. The first thing you're going to need for it is a coffee filter. Okay. So Lauren, would you like to help our host here uh, yeah. prepare the coffee filter? Okay. Second thing you'll need is just a very simple plate. But all okay. we're doing with our so coffee filter coffee is just dumping filter. it in some water. This you can just going in there? shove it in water, oh. take it out wet, Put it on the plate, Completely simple wet. as that. Yep. yep. Okey and then just flatten it out. Okay. Can you all see this? I'm going to do this out this way here a little yep. bit. Okay. And then comes the important and the hard part. We're looking for some Skittles or we're looking for M&Ms or something which something is a nice hard candy. The okay. color's going to wash out. So we happen to have some Skittles because we also do an experiment in my lab with these at Concordia. We're going to arrange these in a circle around mm -hmm. the outside of a your plate. A circle. Okay. Yep. And if you want to make it difficult, if you want to make it much more fancy, what do we do, Lauren? What's the rules? Two colors cannot be beside each other. <laughs> but because we're going fast here, don't you worry. What? We're not. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, don't make this so difficult. I no. know. It's all, suddenly <laughs> Two it's. Two colors no, cannot. No, don't you worry about it. The great thing about some of these science experiments, it's things you can do at home. And the other thing is, if you make changes, you can see what happens if you do that. So it's uh -huh. really about having fun with science. Yeah, they all have to be touching each other. Is that the key? Uh, it helps to have a solid circle. But even then, it still works really well. It you know, does. It's really about trying it and see what happens if they don't touch yeah. it. What happens? Okay. And then we're going to need a bit of water. So a one of our, water. another one of our most important chemicals. And this time round, what are we going to do with our water, Lauren? We are just going to pour it over the top and lightly layer. And you've got some cute little, I'm like, you're not pouring that, Lauren. <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's okay, the, here's the thing is you can do, thing. Yeah, you can do this with whatever you want. We happen to have some water bottles Kay. because we borrowed these from my lab at Concordia. Course, but you know, a steady hand and a glass is perfectly good okay. or, a, or a dripper or anything like that. After you've done that, don't touch oh, it. Oh, oh, don't touch. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to See, move it around. To make it all perfect. And Sorry. fill it with the water from the center. So let the water spread outwards instead of basically getting it on the candy. Sure. And as you do that, here's, we're gonna drop a big science word. Are you ready for the big science I'm, word? I'm ready. All right, diffusion. diffusion. What's gonna happen is the, the dyes, which are normally on the outside of our Skittles, are gonna kind of slowly s dissolve and they're gonna move through the water. They're gonna diffuse inwards to the center. Yeah. So we're gonna let Let's these run for a happen. couple of minutes. Okay. And what we're gonna do while we're doing that is we're gonna go in the way back machine. And what we're gonna do is go back to the days of a very special experiment, but we're not gonna tell you what it's called. Okay. And Lauren's gonna help you make this one. All because right. once you've made it, you'll understand. So we don't wanna give the weight game away. In the way so back, okay, yep. we're going so way back. So what are we gonna start with here, Lauren? What's, what, what did we bring from the lab? We are going to start with a little bit of water. And we're going to put that into a graduated cylinder. There so you go. So you can fill this to about bit. the 20 mil okay. line. So the line down about here. Here's the thing. If you've got something that's nice and tall and clear at home, you can use that. A vase, Any, a glass, okay. anything that works. It's improvised. Right. Perfect. Just don't put too much in. This could get a Did wee get bit You're messy. Fine. It could get a wee bit. <laughs> All right. You make now, me so nervous. That's Dr. good. Graham. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. All right. But again, I feel we need to kind of color this one up. Don't yes, you, Lauren? I think so. So what are we going to use to color it up? We're just going to use some food coloring that you can get at any grocery store. So you get to pick okay, whatever your I favorite get to color pick is. My color. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. This is yellow. This is yellow. Because Lauren picked my favorite color. <gasps> All right. Just well. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Yellow. Dump it in. Yep. Just put a few drops down there. Oops. There we go. Okay. And then what we're gonna do? This is where you learn your Scottish word of the day. You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna give it. Lauren, what's our Scottish word of the day? A sugar. A sugar. <laughs> you're gonna give it a wee sugar to mix it. A wee sugar. And then this is where you might want to, if, you, if it's kids doing this at home, you might want to get uh, 
a little bit of a steady hand to do this one. So okay. what you're going to do is we're going to tilt the container and we're going to pour oil in until I say stop. Okay. So and this is go. just your regular This is just regular cooking oil, oil nice whatever. and slow, nice and steady. There we go. Spot on. All right. Is that enough? And that's it. Oh, Stop. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Halt. We don't want to do too much mm -hmm. because there's a chance this could get a wee bit messy. So okay. what we've got is we've oh, basically oh. got two different phases because everyone knows oil and water doesn't don't mix. mix. And the water's on the bottom because the water is more dense. That's another one of our sciency words, which just means it's a wee bit more heavy. And so the water is going to be on the bottom. The oil is going to be on the top. And mm -hmm. what we're about to do... Hey is a scientific chemical reaction. Okay. And that comes in the form of a very simple material. A lot of you have maybe done the vinegar baking soda. One of the same chemicals is in here. The difference is the acid is citric acid. This is a simple Alka-Seltzer tablet. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna basically drop it in there and then we're gonna watch what happens. So we'll move this you out of the way so we can- You know what Alka-Seltzer does, so therefore. It's going to, oh, look at it start. It hey, looks like it starts. Our chemical hey. reaction is going. We're producing a wee bit of gas. It's bubbling up. There it is. Look at that. Yep. Oops, sorry. I moved it out of my camera. There we go. I love it. Guess yep. what we've got? A lava lamp. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Is this that is, not kind of cool? And what groovy. we can do? What we? Yeah, we went for all the colors today, sort of thing. Look at that. And what you can see is if you see, look, check out these. These are all really, right, really are, cool. We're and, actually out of time. Yep. So and then we're going to let one of these this? sit. We'll take a picture. But what's happened is the color is spread in. Yes. And what's happened that? is if we take the paper out later, we can actually get the color to stay on the paper as well. It's really cool. Yes. Well, all stuff you can do at home. This is so fun. Yes. Thanksgiving week. And you know something. Any time you, any time you feel like doing a wee bit this of kitchen is cool. size. Probably so. It's a little tie dye. So we are definitely going back in time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks like, for yes, having. And absolutely. thanks for thanks for having us back as well. It's <laughs> great you. being back out in the community. So we're Concordia right. Science Academy, and we're really about going out there and getting kids excited about hands-on science. So keep your eyes out for Concordia All Science right. Academy. Awesome. A big thank you for Lauren, who's yes. done an awesome job in our time at Concordia thank as well. Thank you, Dr. Graham. Coming up on today's show, an event this weekend where you can cross some things off your holiday shopping list.